once you've created your application using Blend and you've gotten everything laid out and all your events wired up, the next logical thing to do is to actually try the application out. And we can do that with the tool set that we've downloaded by running the project in the Windows Phone 7 emulator. And the way that we do that is up here under the project menu, there's an option called Run Project. And you can see that when I choose to run the project, I get a dialog giving me an option of what to do. I can either run the project in the emulator or on an actual Windows Phone 7 device that I have attached to my computer. Now, I don't have a Windows Phone 7 with me, so I'll just run it in the emulator and I'll leave that selection highlighted and click OK. And you can see that the emulator is going to launch. So let me switch over to the emulator. So this is the Windows Phone 7 emulator. And for all intents and purposes, it is a Windows Phone. It's a virtual machine running the actual operating system with Silverlight and all that stuff in it. So as far as your code is concerned, it's running on an actual phone. And the controls along the side here in this little bar right here, the top two are close and minimize. Then the next two are controls for orientation changes. You can change the orientation of the phone, putting it into landscape mode or portrait mode by clicking those two buttons. This button over here means to zoom, and this button down here means to minimize. So we're going to leave those alone so that you can see everything. So now that the application is actually running in the emulator, we can try it out to make sure it's working. So remember, we wired up event handlers to all these controls so that when the user interacts with them, this progress bar should update. So I'm going to try that out. I'm going to click the button. And you can see that when I click the button, the progress bar did, in fact, update right down here by 10 points. So let's try some of the other controls. Checkbox, yep, seems to be working. And the hyperlink button, yep. And the list box, yep, that seems to be working too. Radio button seems to be working. The toggle switch seems to be working. The slider seems to be working. And you can see that the progress bar is looping around each time because of that logic we put in to check to see if its value was exceeding 100. And it's, it seems to be working great. All right, that's pretty much all there is to creating, laying out, and wiring up an application using Expression Blend 4.